Okay, recently I was asked to uh, demonstrate making a uh, prairie or stickly si style leg. And we did that by just creating one component uh, and then making a radial array uh, using the rotate copy tool. But then it was brought to my attention that uh, if you wanted to make any kind of changes with the individual components, uh, which would be the, the uh, pillar side, um, that the any changes made on one component would be reflected on the other ones. Uh, so there was some question about how we would go about uh, trying to make a change that wouldn't be reflected on all of them. So what we'll try to demonstrate here is how I would do my workflow process on that. Uh, I just drew a quick uh, pillar side here and it is still the raw geometry so what we're going to do is just make that into a component and I'm going to call it the pillar side and at this point uh, we'll do that uh, the radial array again uh, so I'll get the rotate tool uh, while it's still selected Come on here, hit the control key, move it 90 degrees, and then star 3 to make our three copies. So now we've got uh, one of the pillar legs here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these uh, two guidelines up here. And the select tool. I'm going to make a copy of this down the red axis and these are set about 18 inches apart and then I'm going to uh, I guess I really don't need to flip them right now now when doing these we have to have a little bit of an idea of uh, what we want to make unique uh, and in order to do this, uh, there's going to be a little pre-planning that needs to be done. Uh, I think first uh, we have to have a little bit of an idea what our final model is going to look like. Uh, and then using that to appropriately assign uh, uniqueness to individual components. Uh, so we have to know then which uh, uh, copies of a component, in this case the pillar sides, uh, need to differ from uh, their original. In this case, I am making the assumption that we're going to have four copies of this and then we're going to also make copies of those copies and move them down and then there's going to be some joinery going in between mostly inside faces on these. So we have to decide uh, or plan out ahead of time what are going to be uh, individual components of these uh, pillar sides that are going to be unique or different from the original copies. In this case, because uh, I kind of plan this out ahead of time, I know this one and this one, the inside faces are going to differ from their originals. So I just select those, uh, select one, hold the control or shift key down, and then uh, select the second one. And hovering over uh, it, I will choose Make Unique. Likewise, I know this one, uh, in this instance, is going to be unique. And these two inside faces are going to be unique. So now from here, for, for clarity, what I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, add some color. To the ones that we've made unique. Now everything with the same color would be I, copies of uh, identical components now. From here I think we can go ahead and uh, make these into a component. 
This one I'm going to call the outside pillar. This one's the inside pillar. Now from here we can go ahead and select both of those. Uh, do a move copy down the green axis and then we're going to flip those along the green axis. So now you can see in this instance uh, based on the color we have everything facing each other. I'm assuming that we're going to put some joinery on the inside faces and that could be anything from a mortise to a groove for a panel. And if we just did it on the inside face of this one, because this this one is a copy, it's going to be reflected on that. Now I'd already taken the liberty to do that on a couple of these here. Uh, this essentially is the same as what we had in scene one. Uh, I'd already drawn in some crude mortises, uh, recognize that this isn't the way we would actually model this out. Uh, but then I uh, uh, drew some mortises or uh, slots in here and then just added outside the component uh, an apron. And I did not do the apron on these, but uh, we'll just do that real quick. We'll get the rectangle tool We'll create a little face in here and push pull this over to this edge I'm going to make that into a component not worry about the name on that I'm going to move that oops do a control, so I'm doing a copy, bring it down here, and then I would probably make sure I do flip that. So now I've already drawn some guidelines here. Uh, I hadn't drawn a mortise here. Uh, so this is a component uh, that is an inside pillar. Uh, so I have to edit this component. Then, since this is a nested component, we're going to edit this one. I'm just going to draw a rectangle over the face here. Get our push pull tool. And now you can see it was reflected on the, the back copy of that component. So let's get rid of some of these guidelines. So from here, we can go ahead and select everything. Take out that, that one. We can move this. Uh, in this instance, uh, these two pedestals, uh, or whatever you want to call them, are 36 inches apart. I already drew a guideline out there. So I'm just going to click on this, hit our control button, force it down the red axis with the right arrow key, bring it down here. And now we're going to flip this along the red direction. So now we've got essentially two identical copies 36 inches apart. Now we can go ahead and uh, put a stretcher or rail in between these two. 
get our rectangle. So I'll use the rectangle tool. We'll just go down here, create a face there, get push pull. I'm going to bring this all the way over. And again, we'll make this into a component. And then I can uh, get the move copy tool. Bring that down. Obviously, what, what I just demonstrated here may not be uh, appropriate to whatever model you're building. Um, you're going to have to try to uh, Use a little bit of forethought and uh, decide if uh, you know what steps in this process are appropriate to to, to your workflow process. But uh, uh, as always, give this a try, uh, see what happens, and if necessary, uh, give me a holler and uh, we can uh, see if we can work through things.